guys, welcome back to the Animal Spotlight. So this week we're going to be talking about Cuvier, 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 I don't know how to say his name, but the dwarf caiman. Really quick, I wanted to say as this video is going up, I should be very close to having my baby, if not have had him already. So if I go MIA for a week or two, that's why nothing's wrong. I just had my kid. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up before we get started on the Cayman. So it was actually suggested that I talk about the dwarf Cayman on my Savannah Monitor Animal Spotlight video by Javier Sanchez. Thank you so much for the suggestion. I did want to say before I start this that I in no way, shape or form condone owning alligators or crocodiles as pets unless you are an absolute reptile expert for various reasons obviously they are crocodilian so they're not the best pets and if you are a beginner please 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 do not buy a crocodilian at a reptile show the reason that i wanted to go ahead and do this video is because every single time i go to repticon they're always selling dwarf caimans so just wanted to get that out of the way i do not condone it unless you are an expert that is all <laughs> so these guys get their name from a french zoologist named george cuvier cuvier i don't know i still don't know how to say it he discovered them in south america in 1807 and just as the name dwarf caiman suggests this is a small species of crocodilian which is found in central south america and actually it is the world's smallest crocodilian doesn't mean much though because the male still can get a little over five foot long which is still pretty big but as far as crocodilians are concerned it is the smallest in south america these guys are found in wetlands meaning that they are found in lakes swamps streams rivers ponds anywhere like that but they actually spend a lot of time on land more time than other crocodilian species and they'll actually burrow on that land as well and in the wild they live for about 20 to 40 years but in captivity they can live up to about 60 years so that is a big 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 investment if you were going to keep them as a pet and while they do spend most of their days on land in burrows they are a nocturnal species so they are going to hunt at night and they're going to hunt both on land and in the water their hind legs are actually webbed which allows them to swim and they are very fast swimmers they can swim up to 30 miles per hour so they're actually good at catching prey no matter which way they go with that so on land they're going to eat things like small mammals and amphibians when their babies are going to eat bugs crickets roaches worms things Things like that and then when they're in the water they actually have special scent glands along their bottom jaws that are gonna allow them to find prey in the water so they're gonna eat fish crab shrimp things like that dwarf caimans are very territorial so where in a lot of crocodilian type documentaries you see huge herds of alligators or crocodiles that live together in a group these guys usually don't sometimes they are seen in pairs especially during breeding season they are seen together but for the most part they just spend their time alone and as with most reptiles if a male enters another male's territory a lot of times they will kind of puff up their bodies to make themselves look bigger and hiss at each other and sometimes it can result in physical fighting and as with most crocodilians these guys have a lot of very sharp teeth so their bites are very painful whether it be to each other or if someone has them in captivity and they get bit it can inflict a lot of damage so in regards to their mating season when the time comes and a female is ready to lay her eggs in their natural habitats she will actually go on land and build a burrow and she tries to kind of make it a discreet out of sight location and she'll lay her eggs in that burrow and usually they have about 10 to 25 eggs the reason they do that this way is because those babies are often preyed upon by bigger snakes and mammals and birds basically whatever can get those eggs is gonna take them but when those eggs do hatch they actually stay with their mom for a couple of weeks before they will go out on their own which I thought was really cool because a lot of reptiles kind of just hatch and go 
but they'll actually hang out with their mom for a few weeks just to be protected and to be safe. They come out of those eggs with a layer of mucus on them, which is another thing that makes them very vulnerable to get preyed upon, which is absolutely crazy when you think of crocodilian species. You don't really think of them being prey, but when they're that small, they definitely can be. And like I said, anything and everything that can get a hold of them will when they are eggs or when they're first hatched. And also even as adults they get preyed upon because of their size because as adults they only get a little over five foot at the very biggest so in their natural habitats they will get preyed upon by boas and vipers and cobras and large cats and anything that can get a hold of them and the big appeal to keeping these as pets is obviously because they are a large species of reptiles people want large cool reptiles that they can show off but these guys in captivity require such extensive everything really their cages need to be at least three to five times bigger than they are with at least a quarter to a third of that being land and they have to have room to swim. So what that means is that a fully grown female dwarf caiman that's about four foot long would need an enclosure that's at least 12 to 20 foot long and a third of that is going to have to be land and the rest is going to have to have room for her to swim not to mention that swimming space has to have a large amount of filtration because as you would imagine an animal that is eating rats and fish in the water is going to make quite a bit of a mess and on that note they're going to eat things in captivity like rats and amphibians and as babies they're going to eat insects but you have to feed them with feeding tongs you can't just put the food in there because dwarf caimans are known to learn when it is feeding time and they get very aggressive during feeding time so if you reach your hand over their enclosure to feed them they can easily bite you and they have very strong jaws and a lot of teeth so getting their jaws off of your arm or hand or whatever is going to take a lot of work and it's going to stress them out and it can hurt them and it can hurt you pretty bad too so that's another reason that they're not the best pets unless you are absolutely an expert and in addition in that enclosure they're going to a hot spot of at least 90 to 95 degrees they're gonna need UVB lighting even though they are nocturnal they still have to have that lighting and they are also going to need warm water meaning that they're gonna need a heater of some sort in that water to make sure that it's not cold because dwarf caimans are at a risk for hypothermia when kept in captivity and obviously in terms of handleability this is not an animal that you're gonna want to handle unless it is absolutely necessary and it's even suggested when you clean out their enclosures that you remove them them from their enclosures in order to clean it out so this is not something that you're going to take out and show off especially when it is an adult that is going to be completely off limits but yeah that's about all I have on the dwarf caiman like I said I wanted to do this video because every single time I go to Repticon they are always selling dwarf caimans and I always hear people talking about how they want to buy it and want to have it and how cool it'd be to have it so I just thought that I would talk about how they are very interesting animals just like all reptiles they are super super interesting and amazing to watch but I would like to curve your interest if you had it in buying and owning one of these and if you have any suggestions on what animal you want to hear me talk about next go ahead and leave that in the comment section below because I just want to talk about whatever animals you guys want me to talk about because I love them all. So leave that in the comment section below for me so I know what to make next. As always, guys, if you're not already following me over on Instagram, you can follow me there at L.622 where I post pictures of my animals throughout the week. While editing this video, I wanted to say thank you so much to Jake Fulton underscore six for watching and following me on Instagram and liking a whole bunch of my pictures. Thank you so much, Jake. You are the bee's knees. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I put out new videos every single Sunday. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.